What's cracking, y'all? You are now watching Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. What up, what up, what up? Back with another one from the Larry Bird Vault. This one on April 1st, April Fool's. Larry Bird was apparently cooking up Dennis Rodman in 1988. So before I even look at this video, I'm just looking at the year, 88. So that's when Bird, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, was really, 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 really going through the back problems, whatever they were, back spasms or uh, just actually a range of injuries. But the back was really, really problematic at the time. So given that context, the back problems and the other flurry of injuries Bird was dealing with against Rodman, who was a very good defender, a, a very, very good defender, and Bird about to be lighting him up. But this was Bird's career, man. He came in the league effed up. But like the players of old used to do, especially the ones that really had the high pain thresholds, they could still be great and play through anything and never bring it up and never make an excuse. Salute to the boy, Larry Legend. All right, let's get into it. Check out our Larry Bird playlist. B-Ball Vault, YouTube channel. Leaves it for Bird, into the lane. That was blocked by Lambeer's good defense. He screams for a foul. Yo, Bird used to cook the Pistons, bro. Tough shot. First foul of the game is picked up by Rodman, who will soon be profiled in Sports Illustrated. Well, Rodman played them the way that you should. He got right up on Bird and challenged him to make the drive. Bird, with the top uh, fadeaway jump shot, doesn't get anything but the iron, but get fouled in the process. But if you're going to if you're going to play Larry Bird, you have to play him for that forever game first. Parrish knocked that away, but Rodman gets the layup. Talk for a minute while I clear my throat. All right, well, the Boston Celtics still have the tempo in their favor, and of course, they'd like to get Kevin McHale involved in the game. He is really yet to shoot the ball game, ball after a tough ball game the other night. Off the mark pass there by Bird. Four, the frog is gone, played last quarter number one, Isaiah. Banks it up, it won't go. Good job, Rodman. That won't go for him. Aaron. Good contest by Bird. Oh, he, he about to do some spin fade on it. I knew it. I knew it was coming. <laughs> I just didn't know which way he was going to spin. I'm pretty sure that was an offensive foul, but okay. I'm pretty sure Bird got pushed in the back. Rodman gets that one and they start to boo their own team. Larry Bird and I got I gotta look at that again. Did he get pushed in the back? Hold on. Rodman did all he can legally do. Yeah, there's a little bit of contact there, yeah. Sweeping left hand. Nine on the shot clock. Bird fakes. Step back. Got it. Huh? Lead. Pump. Dribble. Step back. Game, but Dominique Wilkins had the mm. this, is, this is a good move here. Woo. Nope. So you yep. Playing against him, you're looking into the eyes of an assassin. Well, that's true. A talking assassin at that. But Bird was being played very tight, and Rodman did an excellent job against him. And then Bird beat him with a couple of inside moves. He loosened up, and what does Bird always like to do first? Fake before he shoots. Rodman goes for it, and that gets Dantley in the game, and Bird a three-point play. Try to find Larry Bird. 
Taylor needs fools with the pump fake, man. If you don't, if, if you don't believe that Larry was a scoring threat, you're going to learn today. You're going to learn today. Shooters, baby. That's when you know you are a threat on the jumper. Ain't no sag off defense. All up in his chest. Pump fake. What's up? Parrish is like, get off of me, dog. Well, you take a look and you see the help that Bird gets from Robert Parrish. Just a little bit of a screen and that's all he needs. A you know, he, he got the rhythm going when you hit him with that. Have a chance to make it a 10-point lead. Uh, yeah. He's threat, man. Threat, man. You, you you underestimate Larry. He gonna he he is going to make you learn. Let me show you what I got in my bag. Oh, that's what you've heard about me. I'm an old, slow, unathletic white guy. Is that what you heard about me, Larry Bird? Okay, let me show you what I got in my bag. It's gonna be a long night for you, buddy. A long night. Deceptively quick, but knows how to keep the defensive defensive shifting. And knows how to keep the players off balance. Playing mind games with them. I'm going to get the shot. I'm going to create the space. Can you stop me from, from scoring the basketball? No. You can't. Because I'm an all-time great. Sir. Larry Legend. Larry Legend. Rocking him to sleep. Injuries and all. 88 version. This was on April Fool's. I know Larry was talking smack regarding April Fool's Day and, and, and using that to, you know, talk smack on a court. I know he was saying stuff. Who told you you were going to check me? It's April 1st, boy. Stuff like that. Except Larry's a lot funnier than me. <laughs> Larry's a lot funnier than me. Tip my hat off, man. I like finding all this rare footage. I, I, I recently, you know, just did a Jordan rare high. I've done Larry rare high like mixes, I, I believe, but... I really try to find them so I can find those rare gems, those hidden gems that you don't see across, you know, the mainstream, you know, ultimate mixes and highlight reels that, you know, the teams put out or, um, you know, the popular, popular plays. I like to see the hidden gems, man, because there's, there's some beautiful basketball and it was beautiful. But whenever you're talking bird, it's always beautiful basketball. It's always. I'm pretty sure the crowd was booing. And listen, I, I only saw a clip of this game. But I'm pretty sure they booed because they felt Bird got pushed in the back on that rebound by Dennis Rodman. I, I think that's why they were booing. But I could be wrong. I, these guys sat in the game and commented on it. But I, I, I don't think it was because they're angry at the Celtics fans for getting out-rebounded, which could be the case. But that specific play there, I think they were reacting to Bird getting pushed in the back while trying to get the rebound. But I could be wrong. And I'm tired of people in the NBA, or not people in the NBA, but people like in the current the current fans of the current NBA today, over the years, they've like always credited James Harden like he was the inventor of the step back. And now everybody's doing a step back, step back. Yeah, he, he does a step back a lot, but there were a lot of players doing step backs way before James Harden. And Larry was the, used to handle that step back. Straight step back, side step back. Larry was doing that at his 6'9", 6'10", build with that shot over the top of his head. Good luck. Anyway, let me know what you think about it. 
Appreciate you for stopping in. Let your thoughts be known in the comment section. Check out our Larry Bird playlist, our reaction video playlist. Anything else, tons of playlists to get into. I try to upload as frequently as possible between work and my real job and having a life like we all have a life. Uh, but, you know, I try to keep the stuff coming. You feel me? Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified. Catch you on the next one. We out, baby.